Um, and the what are some of the misconceptions of of, a, of addiction? And I, I'm kind of curious about like we hear terms like abuse and dependence and like what's the difference between those terms with people who who have an addiction yeah it's really interesting and there's loads there's so many my phd is on addiction primarily on addiction and there's, there's so many definitions of what addiction is like there's there's, there's i was only listening to a, a professor um, an addiction professor over in america he's a huge huge um name over in america in the states and he he has dreadlocks he's not your typical professor and i was reading up more about him and it turns out that he's really pro drugs and and bringing out the data on drugs what the reality of drugs is and he actually does heroin on a small level and he doesn't call himself an addict which i think i'm I'm not i'm not uh, advocating that i think that's a bit crazy and i need to read more into that but the the position that he was putting across is that the reality of people using drugs is not the true reality like just because they're illegal doesn't make them more dangerous like alcohol kills more people than any other drug some of the biggest problems, if you're looking at numbers in terms of most countries in the world, in the Western world, uh, benzodiazepine and Valium would be the big problem. So many people are addicted to them. So just because they come from a legal background or they're coming through pharmaceutical industries doesn't make them any more okay. And I think more to your, your question, dependence really is if you need to use the drug on a continued basis, that's where it's addiction. So if you're having two, three glasses of wine a night and people wouldn't think that's a big deal and you're not, certainly not going to call yourself an alcoholic, but maybe you might be we won't go into the language of this here but if you need that and you depend on that to relieve the stress and your struggle without that well that's a form of addiction in itself like that really is a form of addiction right there but it's when it's causing problems within the family that's when it goes to the next stage like if you're having two or three drink glass of wine a night or two or three beers a night it's not ideal far from ideal and if it's relieving an edge you're a little bit dependent on it but if you're getting up if you're paying the bills if it's not causing any emotional problems within the family well maybe it's not that uh, as problematic as it would seem but if it when it starts to cause problems and you're not changing your behavior because of that. Well, then it it, it it ramps up a few levels and, and it's a bigger 